It is I, Miss Tell Like It Is 48T. That's right, Miss Tell Like It Is 48T. That's me. I wear my hair back and forth. I wear my hair back and forth. <laughs> you see my hair? Mm, look. Yep. I'm trying to. Y'all see it? Look. I'm trying to get it together, girls. I'm trying to do. I, I know my edges is like, girl, your edges. I know. I gotta do something about my edges. I gotta put some of that edge control on there. I'm put some gel and I'm good. Yep, so this is my hair. Booze. I've been trying to do it up with this. Yeah, anyway, this little video is an update about what's going on with me and my son Jacob. And with all this going on over here. <laughs> over here. Yes, so I'm sure if you've been following my channel, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm active. I am active, but not as active as I want to be in regards to my issues and concern under this NYCHA situation. And <clears throat> um, I saw all the videos that was sent to me. I saw all the documentation, um, all the media uproars and all the press conferences and boards meetings and board meetings and so forth and so on. I've seen them all. I've seen them all and I've also reached out to my elected officials who pretty much know me, know who I am by now. They they know who I am. I mean, if I just like, hello, they're like, I know you. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's, to, it's, it's at that, we're at that level. Yes, so um, it's it's still on the table. My situation is still on the table with Jacob. I know you're probably thinking, oh, they're not going to show you another. That's a, that's another apartment offer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And how did I come by that? Is the same way I came by all of the others. And when I say all of the others, I'm talking about the ones that were shown to me along with my attorneys. The ones that I showed you um, and with my attorneys walking around and talking in the background and so forth and so on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, <clears throat> the video that was shown to me, or rather I should say the clipping that was shown to me of that young lady and her daughter who won $57 million, well... I'm not exactly sure, you know, what steps she took to, um, in terms of, you know, what level or what degree, but I know as for me, my documentation and my information is so overwhelming to a point that when I showed respective individuals my documentation and information, they choked. <laughs> When I show the videos and the supporting photos of the 2010 asbestos abatement that was done, I showed the date, okay, by way of video. They showed they they saw the videos that they came. They showed the postings that they came 2010 did an asbestos abatement, um, July 23rd 2010. Then I showed the documentation. July 24th, my son started to to get ill. He started to get ill. <clears throat> Going forward, another posting, July 26, 2010. Temperature was 90 degrees outside. 90 degrees, almost 100 degrees. 26 now. 26, my son entering into the hospital with pneumonia in his lungs at the age of 5, July 27. So they saw the pattern. And when they saw the pattern, I'm telling you, I, as as sure as there's a God, when I show that information to senior levels, their faith, they were like this. I said, may I continue? I'm going to continue. So then I went on to show, okay, same thing with 2010, 2015, drilling at windows, unprotected windows. 2015, I showed. Drilling at the windows, rocks and debris coming into these apart, coming into these windows, so forth and so on. No protection. 
no protection. Brown torch. Remember, I showed you guys a video of this this window here and all the, the the dust coming in, and I'm like, look at this dust gust of smoke coming in. And then I showed you guys in the back in front of Jacob's window when he was standing there. He said, look at all that smoke coming in, and I was like, that's not smoke, that's torch. And I showed you his his hair, how he had that the the patch and stuff in his hair, and I showed you. And then following that, following all of that, the asthma, and then following all of that, my nose bleeds, and then following all of that. <laughs> Me and Jacob in the hospital with the streptococcal and the sleep apnea and everything paper trailed, everything videoed, everything photoed. <laughs> and they were like this. Within two days, I received this. If time you like to offer you another apartment. Really? You want to offer me? Because everything that I show, for everything that I just stated in regarding the 2010, I know you, you guys are probably like, oh, this is like so boring. Oh, you ain't seen nothing. Because <laughs> trust me when I tell you, if this one looks like the ones that I've seen, <clears throat> the next video that I'm going to show is I'm going to be on the beach with a cocktail. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm going to be boarding the Queen Mary, <laughs> going like this. <laughs> and it's not funny. Everybody's like, oh, why don't you move, why don't you move? That lady could have moved too. And all of these other residents whose children got lead poison and so forth and whatever. Right now, my information is in, <laughs> in terms of my medical condition and my son's. That's right, everything is at the lab. <laughs> it's at the lab. And I am not wishing for the worst. I'm wishing for the best because I want to move on. I really do want to move on. I am wishing and hoping for the best. So for you guys to, um, you probably saying, so what are they, where are they going to show you? Where are they going to show you? Well, I'm just, you know how I do. I, you know how I do. When I get there, you get there. <laughs> Okay, and if I'm if they don't let me video, I'm gonna find a way. Okay, because from what I understand, according to the lawyers, their lawyer, I have every right to bring who I want to bring, and if I want to take pictures and take videos, I have that right also. And when I spoke to the judge, I asked the judge, "Say, Your Honor, um, can I video the units with that that I'm being shown?" He said, "Absolutely, yes." I said, can I take pictures? I said, absolutely. That's what we want, we want to see. <laughs> so if, you, if I'm restricted, somebody's in trouble. <laughs> because these, uh, these showings is under a reasonable accommodation transfer. My reasonable accommodation grievance. I took out a grievance. Yes. We sat in front of the judge. I took out two HP actions. One in 2010. Index number 3045 slash 10. Took out one in 2015. Index number 1737 slash 15. And then I took out a reasonable accommodation grievance. Two attorneys. <laughs> okay? Two attorneys and Nitra's attorneys and whatever. And we was all there. 250 Broadway. Boom, boom, boom. So if I sue... Those attorneys that came in 2015 from that law firm and then the attorneys for my, my reasonable accommodation grievance from this law firm, they all getting subpoenaed. <laughs> they all coming, of course. They're gonna, I'm more than certain they're going to be, they're going to come in because I'm sure the judge is going to want to hear what they saw. The judge is going to say, tell me what did you see? <laughs> The judge is going to want to hear from that, those attorneys, and these attorneys in regards to what I saw, what we all saw when we went into these different these units, and what they saw when they came here. Because one of the attorneys that came here in, two, in 2015, whatever, they got sick. <laughs> that person got sick, was out for like a week, sick, because of the tort. And everything. So, 
I'm just saying that I'm more than certain that is going to be the outcome. I am, I'm with, without a doubt, without a doubt, they're going to be called to the forefront to find, to, to hear what's been going on. So in terms of what's been going on with me, that's what's been going on with me. Let's just hope for the best. I'm hoping for the best because in regards to, you know, what I'm doing outside, I'm saving. I'm saving. I've been looking at houses. I've been going to Jersey, New Jersey. I went to Westchester. I went to New Jersey. I went to Queens. I went to the Bronx. I've been looking at apartments. I have been looking at apartments. I also applied to a lot of apartments on the NYC, um, New York City House, New NYC Housing Connect website. Yes, I do. I have a profile there. So I've been doing a lot. So don't think for one minute Miss Commons is just sitting here doing like, I don't do that putting in ticket, putting in ticket stuff and just sitting here waiting. No. I go down to the court. I stand in line. I get my sandwiches and my, my that's right, my sandwich. <laughs> I get my sandwiches. I get my little crackers and my chocolate because chocolate cuts hunger. And I sit and I wait. So allegedly, you know, hopefully everything works out for the best. That's all I can say. So in terms of what's been going on with Ms. Collins and Jacob, that's what's going on. All the negativity is gone. You see this? When I say all the negativity is gone, I'm, I'm saying um, physically. <laughs> I cut the perm out, which was a negative. Okay, I, I got rid of a lot of my things. I just gave it to, you know, different entities, different, which is a negative. So with that being said, guys, stay positive, stay focused, stay informed, stay on your grind, stay all natural. <laughs> stay how you are. Stay whatever pleases you. Do you. Do you. What make you happy, girl? What make you happy, boo? Whatever make you happy, boo? Make it happen. Make it happen, but be heard. You got to be heard. You got to. You have to. You got. Nobody can't read your minds. You got to speak out. You got to. Don't be afraid. Because if you, if you don't, that's how you fail. You know, love what you do. Love who you are. So with that being said, guys, focus, positive, stay prayerful. But most of all, guys, stay blessed.